Hello, everybody. This is Chuck, and thank you for stopping by my shop. Uh, this uh, is going to be a tool review uh, video. Um, I know some people like them, some people don't. Uh, hopefully, you find it uh, interesting and educational. Kai Wheats uh, contacted me and asked if I wanted to do a review of their articulating industrial borescope. Now, I've done uh, two other videos on borescopes, um, and I've actually filmed a video using a borescope in the past. This one has uh, a little bit of difference in the fact that it's articulating, and uh, we'll get into that. It comes in a nice uh, padded case here, um, zippered case, nice owner's manual with all the instructions and, and everything in it. Um, it tells you everything you need to know. Good, good manual. The, uh, it comes with a power cable. It comes with accessories that go on the tip, which is, you know, a magnet, a hook, and a, a side viewing mirror. And here is the unit itself. Turn it on. Right now I've got the uh, screen protector still on it. And here we can come up and see the camera that's filming you, or filming this. Um, there it is right there. It's looking at itself. But uh, I'm going to do a quick video of uh, using the unit. But uh, here you can see how the thumb wheel can manipulate the camera. So uh, let's uh, click down and, and uh, go look at the video I did on uh, the unit itself. Well, we're going to do a little demonstration video here. So right now, the Bork camera is coming down through the top of my welding table. And you can see I've got the screen here on the right side. I'm wiggling it. And now if you look at the inside, you'll see the bore head. And so I just wanted to show you. Here it's turned. 90 degrees, it's looking at me, and I can flip the photo, or flip the screen, see it's looking at me, flip it back, and it'll go all the way up, all the way up, keep cranking the wheel, and you can see it's actually viewing, I'm going to zoom in on it but it's actually sh looking straight back up where it's coming through the welding table back at me you can see the different power for the uh, uh, zoom heading back down Now, and of course, it'll go the other way. It's looking away from us, 90 degrees. It'll go, it'll go all the way back up and look at the underside of the table. So it's an item that'll take some practice in learning to use. The real nice thing is the fact that you can actually turn and look right back up the bore that you came down. I think that'll be really helpful in a lot of situations. The the it doesn't look right and left you'd have to spin i'm gonna i'm gonna move the camera away for a second you'd have to spin the the cable itself let's see if we can do it that way there you go so i think you can see it there that i've spun the cable and i'm, I'm looking in a different view and uh, let's see, so you can see it there. Now it's looking off to the side towards my welding, welding supplies over there. And again, it would go up. Or if you just crank around, it would be the practice. Uh, looking back at us, I'm coming back down with the camera or the uh, head. 
and looking back down. So on the screen here, you can turn the, uh, the light off and on. So I think you can see that in the, in the uh, video there. You can, um, as we showed reverse, you have zoom. And then of course you can go into uh, the mode and start recording uh, or taking photos. And uh, it, it does the whole thing. So I think that's a pretty good demonstration of how the Bohr camera can articulate. Um, I think it's really going to be handy. I used it earlier today. Unfortunately, I didn't set it up as I was uh, working on my bandsaw and it was blind and I needed to see where I was reaching in. And uh, this guy, this guy worked out well. Yeah. Like anything, It'll take uh, lots of practice um, to uh, get familiarized with the tool and uh, how it works. And I can just pull it straight up out of the bore. I'll bring the camera head down here. And you can see the movement. Or it'll go, it'll go past uh, 180. Pretty cool. And it's also, you can actually flex it with your hand. You can move it with your hand if you have to. So straighten it out and stuff. So right now there's a lens protector on the end, end there, or I should say a thread protector. And it also comes with, um, hang on a second, hang on a second. It also comes with um, a 90 degree mirror. Let's see. Also comes with a 90 degree mirror, a hook, and a magnet. So those are attachments that you can actually use on the system. And you can see the camera's uh, quite good. Okay, well, we're back from that video. Uh, I hope you en enjoyed it. Uh, you can see some of the uses um, that uh, can be very handy with this. Uh, like I said, I used it on my bandsaw. Uh, I had a look around a corner uh, to uh, view where I was trying to get a bolt in there, and I couldn't get my head in there. And so basically you just used this guy and turned it like that, and I could see what I was doing. Okay, well, thanks for uh, stopping by. I do hope that you enjoyed the uh, video on the uh, Kai Wheats Arch Arch Articulating Industrial Borescope. Well, when looking at their website, uh, they had offered, along with the uh, borescope, to send a uh, battery, no, brake fluid tester. And uh, I kind of perused their site. They have all sorts of different test equipment. Uh, it's worth going to their, um, their website and taking a look. I saw this, this voltage tester. And I said, uh, can you send this to me to, to, to uh, also do a, a test on? And uh, really a nice little unit. Of course, comes with a full operations manual. And I've played with this somewhat. Um, it's a um, DC voltage. A DC voltage unit. Turn it on. So its uh, range is anywhere from 0.08 volts to 110 volts. Uh, it measures resistance and it also continuity. Um, it's got a protector here for the uh, stab tip. So you could actually, uh, the, the reason I was so interested in this, I like working on cars and DC voltage, 12 volts. 
uh, under a dash, trying to uh, search if your uh, wire's hot or circuit's hot, uh, this guy's gonna be really nice. It also has a, a light. Let's see, come on, there it is. It's got a light, so that's gonna work fantastic under a dashboard. Um, I really like that. Um, so a couple, a couple little tests to show you real quick. Here's a, just a, I just grabbed this circuit board. Um, but uh, for continuity, you know, touching here. All right, come on now. Well, here you go. That's what I was doing is playing with this wire. So continuity with this wire, come to the back side. And you can hear it. So you could go ahead and test all the way across this board, you know, where the uh, power is coming back through for the continuity. Like that. The other thing is voltage. Uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Yeah, here's a little energizer battery. What is it? It's uh, three volts. You can see it there. Reads the battery at three volts. I, I'm like I said. I'm very excited about using this uh, uh, on a car. Um, I don't know that I can show you any other tests on it, but um, it's a great little unit. I'm very very excited about having this.